Prescott Academy, a secret government institution, transforms young girls into assassins. Headed by Chief Hardman, the organization starts training them as early as 10 months old, providing a life education devoid of external influences. The girls, referred to only by agent numbers, become lethal from a young age. They handle guns taller than themselves at three, master driving by five, and engage in high-speed car chases by six. Hardman enforces a strict no-attachments rule, preventing the girls from forming connections with each other. The Academy's top student, number 83, excels in shooting and combat. However, the rule against forming emotional bonds puzzles her. Assigned a task to poke a stuffed toy with a pen, 83, unlike her peers, holds the toy to her chest. Hardman labels her a bad example and tears the toy's head. Despite her exceptional skills, 83 struggles with the no attachments rule, harboring emotions ready to explode. As she grows into a skilled teenager, her main rival becomes number 84, the second best in everything. Despite harboring animosity, the two must set aside their differences as they work for the same agency. 83 is the first to be activated for dangerous missions, setting her on a path where emotions and rules collide. 84 is upset about it as usual, but she can't voice her objections. Once activated, 83 undertakes multiple missions, blending in as a typical teenager to avoid suspicion. Despite impressing Hardman with her efficiency, she yearns for a normal teenage life she never experienced. During a mission, while spying on a target, 83 spots a nearby party, making her realize the abnormality of her life. Feeling she missed out on childhood, she decides to escape the establishment and its responsibilities. To understand normal teenage life, she gathers intel by watching movies like Mean Girls, The Princess Diaries, and Clueless. During missions, she buys magazines to secretly read during dull meetings. Caught reading a magazine during a crucial mission briefing, Hardman warns her to focus on the dangerous task ahead. Assigned to capture an arms dealer and Mafia's most dangerous woman, Victoria, 83 faces a challenging mission. 84 hopes to be Hardman's favorite, but 83 is chosen. In the climax, 83 confronts Victoria in a construction zone, rescuing hostages, including herself. With a clever maneuver, she incapacitates Victoria and escapes. Ignoring Hardman's calls, she decides to leave her old life behind, throwing away her watch and embracing freedom. Back on the airplane, Hardman realizes there's no visual or audio communication from 83, marking her as inactive. Undeterred, he continues interrogating Victoria. Meanwhile, 83 adopts a new identity as Megan, creating a fresh start. She enrolls in a high school in Newton and arranges to stay with the Larson family through a website. When the family arrives at the airport to pick her up, Megan is greeted by Mrs. Larson, her son Parker, and sarcastic teenage daughter Liz. Liz is initially displeased with Megan's arrival and struggles to adjust to her presence. Megan's excitement about mundane things, like reading the school bus, strikes Liz's audi. Despite her reservations, Liz agrees to help Megan navigate the school environment. On Megan's first day, she attracts attention with a peculiar outfit, drawing laughter from classmates, including the bully Gooch, who dubs her fresh meat. To boost Megan's confidence, Liz provides her with more subdued clothes. During a morning assembly, Megan, posing as a foreign exchange student, faces ridicule and name-calling from her peers. She encounters Roger, a geeky kid managing the AV for the school band, and dismisses him as a nerd based on movie stereotypes. The entire school makes fun of her, urging her to go back to Canada. The chanting escalates until Cash, the popular band leader, interrupts with a song, instantly capturing Megan's attention. During lunch, cheerleaders invite Megan to join them, but she declines, assuming they are mean like the cheerleaders in her favorite movies. In biology class, Megan befriends Roger, who seems interested in her, but Megan is only focused on Cash. The next day, she becomes Cash's lab partner, but other girls want him for themselves and ask her to choose another partner. They suggest she audition to be the school's mascot, claiming Cash likes girls in that role. Megan, unaware of their intentions, auditions, and is instantly chosen, asked to practice for the next game. During practice, masked men try to kidnap her, but Megan skillfully overpowers them, thinking they are agents sent by Hardman. However, they turn out to be troublemakers from a rival college. The incident is filmed and uploaded on social media, much to Megan's horror. Meanwhile, at Prescott's base, Victoria is being interrogated by Hardman, who insists he's doing it for a good cause. Victoria takes a special interest in 84 and plans to use her to escape. Discovering the viral video, they assume Megan is now working for a rival group. At school, everyone talks about Megan's exceptional fighting skills, turning her into an overnight popular girl. Cash invites her to his band practice, where she meets Roger. Although Roger likes her personality, 
Megan is too enamored with Cash to notice. Excited about an invitation to a high school party hosted by her bully Gooch, Megan is kidnapped by Prescott on her way home. Hardman believes Megan is working for a rival establishment and, despite her pleas for a normal life, injects her with a truth drug. He learns she is telling the truth but insists she owes him for teaching her everything. Hardman orders her to return to base in two days. After that, Hardman's people leave Megan on the front porch of a house to make it seem like she's just drunk. When Megan sees Roger next, she invites him to Gooch's party, but Roger, due to his strict father, declines. Megan wishes he could come since he's her only friend at school. Later that night, Megan attends the party with Liz, who was forced by her mother to accompany her. To Megan's surprise, 84, now going by the name Heather, is also there. Megan suspects Hardman sent Heather to keep an eye on her, but Heather neither confirms nor denies it. Roger arrives at the party, hoping to see Megan, but he's disheartened to find her kissing Cash. By the end of the night, Cash asks Megan to be his homecoming date. The next morning, Megan boards the school bus, only to find that Hardman is disguised as the driver. He warns her that Victoria has escaped from Prescott and plans to seek revenge. Despite the offer to return, Megan refuses. Later, Megan and Liz, driving to school, are pursued by a masked assassin. During a car chase, Megan reveals her past life to Liz. The pursuit leads to a crash in a junkyard, and while the assassin escapes, Megan identifies her as Heather by her perfume. Liz ends up in the hospital after the crash. Megan, wanting to prevent further harm, contemplates leaving, but Liz believes that abandoning the family would be worse. From that day on, they bond, and Megan shares her life as an agent with Liz. They shop for homecoming outfits together and prepare for the special night. Liz goes out with Gooch, who has changed after spending time with her at the party. Meanwhile, Chase and Megan attend homecoming together. Megan, realizing Chase's shallow personality, breaks up with him and turns to Roger, asking him for a dance. To her surprise, Roger declines and turns to his date for the night, Heather. The girls argue over who gets to be Roger's date and end up in a fight. They wrestle around, wrecking the decorations, and eventually reach the kitchen where Heather is about to stab Megan. Liz intervenes, stabbing Heather in the leg with a corndog stick. Megan then hits Heather on the head, knocking her out. Afterward, they rush home to find Victoria and her people have taken Mrs. Larson and Parker hostage. Megan fights them efficiently until they capture Liz. Liz stops resisting for the family's safety, hoping Hardman will save her. Victoria, revealing she was the very first Prescott girl, challenges Megan to a one-on-one -on -one fight, easily defeating her. Suddenly, Hardman arrives with reinforcements, helping Megan and capturing Victoria. They break in, tranquilizing Victoria. Megan hugs Hardman, grateful for the help. In the last scene, she stops Roger on his drive home and brings him along for a helicopter ride. Here you will get mind-blowing movie recaps every time. Show your support to the channel. Thanks.